Let's start with question number six. It says four point charges Q A equal to micro coulomb. So let first one be A that is two micro coulomb. Then B is minus five micro coulomb. Then C two micro coulomb again. Then we have D that is minus five micro coulomb on a square. We have and its side is equal to ten centimeter each. Now, what is the force on a charge of one micro coulomb that is placed at a center of the square? That means in center, let center be O here. In center, we have a charge of one micro coulomb. Now, there would be some force with respect to A and C. So, let us draw diagonals AC and let us draw diagonal. BD. Now A will be in this direction. The direction of force of A will be as we have positive charge, so it will be away from the charge. So this is the direction of FA. Then we have to draw for FC. Now FC is again a positive charge, so it will be in this direction. Now we have Now we have B and D that is negatively charged. So it will be away, it will be towards charge. So FB be in this direction and FD be in this direction. Now we can write here that QA equals QC. Why? Because they have same charge. So the in between we have charge of one micro coulomb which experience equal and opposite forces by FA and FC due to charges QA and QC. Now, similarly, we can say that FB and FD due to equal charges QB and QD and B and D, therefore, they exert equal and opposite forces. Therefore, we can say that the net force on charge 1 coulomb is 0. There won't be any net force on charge 1 coulomb due to the similar charges present at F A and sorry A and C and B and D. Therefore, we can say that the net charge at O is actually 0. So, that's all for question number 6.